Well, let's return now to our top story. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty in his rape trial. Let's go live now to CNN reporter Jean, Jean Casares in New York. Uh, Jean, good morning to you. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, so can you bring us up to speed uh, with uh, how significant um, this conviction is? Well, this is very significant. I mean, the defense did save him from charges that the steepest penalty was life in prison, but obviously there were convictions here. Let me tell you the charges and what the outcome was. Predatory sexual assault. There were two counts of that, which is the stiffest felony. Someone is a predator when they are convicted, and the maximum penalty is life in prison. The jury found not guilty on both of those counts. And then you have criminal sexual act in the first degree, which was attributed to the accuser Mimi Haley, who said that in 2006 she was violently sexually assaulted in the apartment very close to here of Harvey Weinstein in Soho, New York City. The jury found guilty on that. And then you have rape in the first degree, which is the most serious statute in New York when it comes to raping someone. The jury found him not guilty, but rape in the third degree, which is essentially a lack of consent, but no violence involved. They found him guilty of that. And that is in regard to Jessica Mann, who was an accuser in this case. It said in 2013 she was raped by Harvey Weinstein in a New York City hotel room. So all in all, two convictions found guilty on. They are serious felonies. Maximum penalty, 25 years in prison, which for Harvey Weinstein at 67 years old could potentially be a life uh, felony. Of course, his attorneys will be arguing that it should be a minimum term because both of these accusers, it was established in court that there were relationships with them. And I'm sure the defense will bring that out, that it's that it was not a violent situation. Uh, it, it was a situation between people that knew each other very well. Jean, where is Harvey Weinstein now? And are we likely to hear from his lawyers soon? Yes, yes, they are planning a, a press conference. Uh, they wanted to do it on the courthouse steps, but uh, famous civil rights lawyer Gloria Allred was speaking, and they, she kept talking, and they said, okay, we'll go. And so they did not do it on the courthouse steps, but they should be doing it shortly. Harvey Weinstein was remanded into custody. Now, this entire trial, he has been out on bond, and he has gone to the courthouse every day, every time there's a hearing for the entire trial. But with these convictions, the prosecution argued to the judge that she wanted him remanded into custody. The defense argued that he should remain out pending sentencing because he has been to the court every time he is needed. But the judge is remanding him. But one little caveat to that, uh, Harvey Weinstein had back surgery recently. And so the defense argued those medical issues, meaning a back issue and then also an issue with his eyes. And the judge was requesting that he be put in the infirmary, which is like a hospital setting. And obviously it is not as potentially dire as the actual incarceration for someone that doesn't have the concerns of medical. Jean, can I ask what um, Harvey Weinstein's reaction was in the courtroom? I mean, uh, was he upset? Was there an element of expectation about this? What can you say about that? Well, my producer is saying that in the courtroom that suddenly five armed officers were around him, and that's more for his protection at this point. Also, any anything that he would e emotionally emit uh, once the verdict was announced. But there was silence. Uh, there was nothing audible that they could hear, no expressions that they could see. But there were 13 law enforcement officers that positioned themselves around that courtroom right before that verdict was announced. So you can see how carefully this was planned and executed and really flawless in its execution.